Taraba State still in the wake of the strike. The state, uh, the labor union in the state visited government establishment to ensure compliance with the ongoing strike. The members traveling in their branded buses throughout the state capital of Jalingo stated they were enforcing full compliance with the directive from the national leadership. Workers who had already returned to their duty posts were observed leaving the premises to return home. Those unable to depart immediately were seen lingering around the office buildings. At the time of reporting, filling stations remained open to the public and commercial banks within the state capital were also operating in seven customers. Additionally, private schools continued to have students present in their classrooms. Almost 70% compliance of today. So we believe that uh, uh, tomorrow will be either 80 or 90 percent. In the morning, actually, some offices are open. Unfortunately, my committee went out. After they went out, then they sent people out of the office. Even the bank will close them. The offices will close it. Even the, the NNPC. I went there by myself. So I drove them out. Now, the secretary to the government of the Federation, George Akume, has summoned organized labor to an emergency meeting to avert the ongoing strike over a new national minimum wage. The president of the TUC, Comrade Festus Osifo, confirmed this to our correspondents today. Osifo said labor leaders comprising the Nigeria Labor Congress and its union were headed to the SGF office for the meeting. On Monday, the nationwide strike called by organized labor paralyzed economic activities nationwide. Banks, schools, flight, and other economic activities were disrupted as a result of the strike. Meanwhile, the Tripartite Committee on National Minimum Wage had invited organized labor to a meeting tomorrow. Now, the federal government has appealed to labor unions to return to the negotiation table with the Tripartite Committee on the new minimum wage. Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohamed Idris, who appealed in Abuja on Monday, said the government is desirous of a peaceful outcome and will do everything to make it happen. Expressing the government's readiness to agree with the Labour, Idris highlighted the National Assembly leadership's meeting with the Labour leadership on Sunday and another dialogue today. This is a heartfelt and deeply considered appeal to the Labour unions to continue along the path of negotiations with the federal, state governments and the organized private sector under the auspices of the Trapatite Committee that has been established by government to fashion out a new realistic minimum wage for the people of Nigeria. Let me make it clear that we are not opponents on this negotiating table. We are united by the fact that we want the best for the Federal Republic of Nigeria and all the over 200 million citizens of this country. We have a responsibility to strike a measured and realistic balance in this effort to arrive at a new minimum wage for Nigeria. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.